Welcome to this week's Momentum Masterclass here on FNB Classic Clashes. Now this week, if you're a hooker, well, we've got something very special for you. We're going to be showing a few training and strength exercises to make sure that you distribute that ball and that you get a real good, strong push going in the line out. Yeah, exactly, Dina. I mean, we've had a request that we want to show some more training exercises. And uh, using Sports Code, we've been able to put together this little, this little training package over here in terms of what, what uh, I believe are some really good skills for hookers. Okay. So let's have a look what we're doing. We use a Swiss ball over here. Mm -hmm. Swiss ball is this big, big ball that the hooker's lying on. And what's very important for you to notice as well is that you're taking his legs and his hips out of this drill at the moment. Okay. So you're asking him to use his upper body and to get his core working really well for these exercises. So let's have a look and see what happens first. First thing they do is he holds a rubber band there and he just resists against the rubber band, just getting the movement and strength, strengthening his stomach mm -hmm. and getting that movement of throwing the ball into the line out. Then the second one, which is a really fun thing for him to do, and the hookers should try this at home, he stands there with the ball and he tries to throw it up into a position that he actually lands straight back in his hands again. Okay. As you can see, the guy behind him is having to catch it quite a few times. What's really important for you to notice is, as well over here is that his back is square on the Swiss ball over here, oh, yeah. which is exactly how it'll be when he's throwing the ball in. Okay. So if he takes his hands back into a position over here, let's just show you. If he takes his hands back into a position there like that, then he should release it properly that the ball goes basically straight up and comes back into his hands again. Obviously what we've done over here in this exercise is you've taken his hips and his legs out of the equation because he doesn't, he can't use them to generate his power anymore. Okay. So it's a really good exercise to make sure that he can get the ball up into the air and hopefully catch it again. Let's move it on. The third drill that you want to do, because the other thing you're looking to do as well is, is really get his core going, mm -hmm. going very well. You ideally want him to be throwing the ball into the line out where his feet don't move too much. Then it gives you consistency of where the ball goes. So here he starts in his square position at the back, and all he does is he throws to a guy who's not jumping, but just standing in that position over there. Okay. What this really helps with is a couple of things. It helps in his take back, again, taking his feet and his hips out of the equation. He comes up, he's using his core, but he's also getting a really good release with his arms and his hands can finish in front of his face. So there you have it. If you can't get yourself a gym contract, just grab a Swiss ball and you should be absolutely fine if you watch the Momentum Masterclass here on FNB Classic Clashes. Remember, if you'd like to take a look at the clips that we discuss here on the Masterclass, just go to our website. It's www.fnbclassicclashes.co.za. From myself, Dino, and Gary, till next week. This Masterclass was brought to you by Momentum.